Hi, I'm Phoenix. I'm nine. Today you're in for an Easter treat. We're going to be making an Easter egg brownie from SweetestMenu.com. You'll need half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of plain flour, half a cup of caster sugar, a quarter of a cup of cocoa powder, half a cup of unsalted butter, a third of a cup of thickened or heavy cream, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, 350 grams of dark chocolate, and three large eggs. Beat in. You'll need some Easter eggs, an eight by eight inch baking pan, greaseproof paper, pastry brush, a big mixing spoon, spatula, and a big mixing bowl. Before you start, remember to turn your oven on to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. First, we're going to break the chocolate into a microwave-proof bowl, and then we're going to add some butter, and then put it into the microwave and stir it every 30 seconds until it's melted. So now that that's all melted, we're going to add the sugars. And the vanilla extract. And stir it until well combined. Oh, just pour the combined mixture into a bowl. Now put the flour and the cocoa into a sifter and sift it in. This would be a great treat for your family any day, any time. Remember to fold your flour and cocoa in until it looks like this wonderful stuff. Then add the eggs in a little at a time, stirring as you go. Now that that's all welcome bond, we're going to prepare the pan. Get your pastry brush and some melted butter and cover the pan all over. Remember to get the side and everywhere. Then we're going to put some greaseproof paper on. Just to help not to get the brownie not to stick on the sides. And a handy trick is to cut it over the sides so that there's tabs sticking out when you put it in. Then you can lift it easily. Now we're going to pour it in. Now we're going to smooth it out. Remember to get it right in the corners, just like this. Then we're going to put it in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes, all until cooked through. So this has been out of the oven for about half an hour now. As you can see, it's really easy to lift up by the tabs and just put it down on a plate. Next, we're going to make the ganache. Just put the other 150 grams of chocolate into a heat-proof jug. Then I heated my cream. Then I'm going to pour it in. I put it in for about 30 seconds. And now I'm just going to stir it until the chocolate is melted. This might take a while. That took about five minutes. Be patient with it. Don't be tempted to put it in the microwave because it could overheat and separate. So I'm just going to put it in the fridge for about five minutes to thicken up. Just got it out of the fridge. Look how smooth and shiny that is. Now I'm going to put it on top of the brownie. <laughs> Make sure to get it all out. Every last bit. Now we're just going to smooth it all out across the brownie. Just like this. To make it an Easter treat, we're going to put an assortment of Cadbury eggs on. You can use whichever eggs you want. 
I'm gonna cut it in half. And then I'm gonna put it on top of the brownie. You can decorate it whichever way you want. This is how it turned out for me with all my decoration. Just cut a piece. Now let's have a taste. Mmm, that's delicious. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I'd also appreciate it if you could share it with friends and family.